Hi, if you want to do PhD after your bachelor's degree or after your master's degree from Austria, then this video is for you. Hello, Assalamu alaikum and hello to everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Accelerate with you. I hope you all are doing well and safe. I am Sultan Sheikh, PhD scholar at Hamad bin Khalifa University, Qatar. In this video, I am going to talk about PhD scholarship in IST University of Austria. This university offers PhD degree for bachelor as well as master degree students. So let's get started. First of all, you have to open this website. I had put this link in the description below. Once you open this website, you will find this web page. Now, in this video, I am going to cover that uh, who are eligible for this scholarship, how you can apply, what application materials are required, what are selection criteria, application and selection timeline, and how you can apply. Okay, so now let's talk about that who is eligible for this scholarship. So bachelors and master's students are eligible to apply. IST actually stands for Institute of Science and Technology Australia. Uh, so IST Austria welcomes students with a different academic backgrounds who can bring their skills and experience to the scientific settling. The students with a bachelor's or master's degree in biology, chemistry, neuroscience, mathematics, computer science, physics, data science, and scientific community and related areas are encouraged to apply. So if you had a bachelor's or master's degree in any one of the field I mentioned a few minutes ago or related field, then you can be uh, eligible for this scholarship. How do I apply? So IST Astia processes application to its PhD program once a year. The application portal will open in fall, second half of the October, which is open already. To apply, you have to create an online account, which will allow you to track your application through its various stages. We do not accept applications and documents received outside the system. So you can download the instruction manual here by clicking the uh, uh, here. Okay, so what application materials are required? So you have to submit the CV, statement of purpose, you know, transcript and diplomas and contact information of three referees, okay? And uh, what are the selection criteria? So the selection committee uses the collection of indicators to evaluate the applicant's uh, uh, application. So uh, it includes your undergrade performance, reference letters, system of purpose and additional relevant skills and your background, um, including quality of the undergrad background, transferable skills and your diversity, okay? For the application and selection timeline, application opens uh, mid-October, which has already been opened. So it will uh, close on January 8th, pre-selection meetings end of January, student interviews mid-February to mid-March, final selection meetings March, offer sent out to the after the final selection meeting, offer need to be accepted mid-April and the start of the PhD program September 15th. So one of the good thing about this uh, scholarship is that uh, uh, you can continue, you can apply for the PhD program after your bachelor's degree. So it is the better who are thinking about uh, PhD program. So it is a better to apply for this scholarship. So if you want to know more about this data uh, for BSc students, how they are uh, offering you the PhD degree. So you can go over here and uh, uh, read the different uh, instructions given for the students who had bachelor degree. So actually for the bachelor's degree, they have to go for some different uh, courses uh, and their PhD uh, uh, will be about four years. And for the uh, students having a master's degree program, uh, they have a PhD degree of three years. So you can see here, so there's a long route and short route for uh, um, a bachelor and master student, so you can read all those instructions over here. Okay, so you can see here short route is for the master student and long route is for the bachelor student. So their PhD will be four years, and the, the students having master degree they have their PhD degree for three years. So it is a good scholarship you can try. And if you have any question, kindly let me know in the comment box below. And if you have any question, you can also search on the website in uh, by clicking the PhD program, frequently asked questions. So is what subject area can I do a PhD? Is there a funding for the PhD, which is the most important? Let me open this one. So all our PhD students are fully funded and at internationally competitive salary levels and receive full social security coverage. There are also financial support for students to cover travel expenses for attending scientific conferences and workshops. So uh, if you want to know more information, you can uh, check their funding page. 
and uh, how much is the tuition fee how long is the PhD program so all questions are answered over here but if you have any question uh, uh, other than questions uh, mentioned over here you can uh, comment in the comment box below so that's it take care thank you so much see you in the next video